Hello Capricorn and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for July 2020. So we're going to tap into the energy and see what's coming in. But already a powerful month of illumination for you. I've done the general reading and real power and strength coming in moving forward. But the message is also about patience this month. So let's tap in and see what's coming in. So thank you all for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to use the Archangel Power Tarot cards for this reading, the Romance Angels Oracle, and I'm going to pull you a message from the beautiful Twin Flame Love Oracle. So what do we need to know, please, for Capricorn? There is also going to be another reading on here for your masculine and what they want to say to you, but this is a message from them right now. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for the Capricorn Twin Flames for the month of July? Oh, beautiful. Dreams coming true has come out there. What do we need to know, please, angels, for Twin Flame Capricorn for the month of July? Wow, okay. Wow, flying out the deck here. Let me just pick this one up. Okay. So, am I going to take them? There's some moving on the top of the deck here. I'm going to take them, okay. So, the first thing I've got coming up for you is the Nine of Ariel. And I love this even more because it's right next to the Four of Gabriel. So, this is about building a future together. This is about union. It's about coming together. It's about magic. And the rainbow there is showing you that this is all protected. So it's all in divine timing. So this is about trusting the process, having patience, no matter what the situation is. Because for some of you, the situation will include marriage. Because I saw the card coming out. Let me just turn it over, okay? I saw the card coming out. There it is, wedding. So this is showing you that in your future with your twin flame, it's very possible that you're going to get married or there's going to be some form of spiritual commitment because union is a spiritual commitment. It's a spiritual marriage. So you already feel married to each other anyway. You know, me and George feel married to each other anyway. We don't need a piece of paper to show that. But for some of you, your person will be married or in another relationship right now. And that's why the angels are asking you to be patient with it because everything is falling into place. And this is showing you what's coming. And this is a beautiful spiritual wedding that you're going through here. So the road to union for you right now, Capricorn, even if it feels like a hard one, it's moving you exactly where you're meant to be towards the life of your dreams. So everything you're doing right now in your power, in your independent energy, as a powerful, strong, divine feminine is protected and it's being it's guiding you and it's all healing you ready for union. So this is super powerful. Your dreams are becoming fulfilled and I feel you more in your power every day. You're feeling fulfilled anyway. You know, you're working on purpose, you're working on you. So you're already fulfilled and that's why union's coming in because it's showing you this. Hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life. So you're appreciating this journey. You're appreciating your life. And for some of you, you may have already come into union. For some of you, you'll be coming into union soon. But for most of you, this is going to be a journey of patience because the show me September to April next year is pivotal. So I feel so many of you are going to be coming into union between September and April. So in July, it's really important, whatever's going on, to trust the journey and to have this vision of the future because this is what's to come. And the angels are assuring you of this right now, no matter what's in the way, whether that be a marriage, another person or some other block that's been removed and lifted right now. But there's definitely a spiritual marriage with your masculine in the future. And the angels want you to know that because they're showing you reconciliation. And this is coming up with the six of Raphael. So this is also showing you the past coming back, memories of the past, thinking of the past. The reconciliation or the reunion 
between you and your twin, which means the conversations are coming coming together. And I already feel you're connecting often on the 5D realm. You're feeling each other in dreams and telepathically. And it's showing you in your dreams that your masculine is coming towards you. I also feel you're seeing signs and synchronicities. This could also be in cloud energy as well. And I feel your masculine is being reminded often of you. So you're connecting and it's like your two souls are becoming one then because the twin flame journey, the angels show me it's like a soul cut in half in each other's bodies. But it's also as if you've got your own souls because you're all, you're nurturing everything as one. So it's showing you this journey of reconciliation, of moving towards each other, of building something up. So there's a lot of energy coming in here of power. And the reconciliation card as well is also signifying the past has been healed. You know, things from the past are being healed, they're being brought to your attention. So this month, you're giving your relationship a chance. So there's a real chance of things moving forward this month. You know, your masculine is showing you the love there in this card. It's time to work on the partnership. And that begins within yourself. When you work on yourself, then you open the doors to partnership to come in for union and reconciliation. So the angel is showing you you're working on your partnership within yourself and with your twin flame on the 5D realm. Pay attention to any red flags because if there is any caution coming up, and this could be connected again with, you know, the marriages, the other people, any religious factors going on, but it's all connected with your spiritual path. The angels are saying, free yourself from any fears, especially with the moon card coming up there. Free any fears, any illusion. You know, don't go round and round in circles overthinking things. Free yourself from that. And trust that now's the time to take your power back in this connection, to face your fears, to grow stronger. And to trust that this is an opportunity to improve your plans by going within. So a lot of healing going on as well because you're getting to know each other. And you're getting to know each other on the 5D realm this month as well. You're going to have conversations together to explore your romantic feelings together and to heal what's already been done. So when I'm tuning in with this energy, you know, there's a new emotional part of the journey starting now. And this is showing you messages coming in regarding your relationship. Great intuitive and instinctive insights. So the angel's saying you're going to be listening to your instincts, your intuition, tuning in. You know, you're opening up right now. You're allowing your romantic feelings to thrive. So you're allowing yourself to feel your twin and your masculine is coming back to you in a way of love. So your masculine is going to be really showing this love to you. But the red flag card is showing, you know, that they're just waiting it's like there's a waiting energy they don't want to lead you on you know they don't want to hurt you any more than they've already done so they're waiting for the right time to reconcile the right time and again this could be connected with a marriage it could be connected with a karmic situation something they need to release but the angels are assuring you that no matter what red flags are around you no matter what blocks or obstacles seem to be in the way they're being removed so you can give your relationship a chance. So for some of you, you will come into union this month or you will come into reconciliation. So you can get to know each other again on the 3D realm and find each other again. But for others, it's going to be a bit of illusion around because they're saying it's coming, but between September, yeah, again, September and April. And they just gave me fear because if that does trigger you, you have to release that because what triggers you heals you. This is what's in your future. It's powerful Capricorn. You have to have patience and understand that everything is in divine timing. It's a learning process. And this year until 2024 is about twin flames coming into union. So this is when things are moving forward from now, this year now. And I know there's been crazy things happening in the world with everything that's been going on. But it's awakening people. It's doing what it needs to do to bring in awareness of who we are. So your masculine is coming into awareness of who they are and it's leading them to you as spiritual marriage. So they can leave behind any marriages they're already in, any tangles they're already in, anything they're tangled up in so they can release those cords and be with you, like really be with you. 
And this is what they want to be with you. It says, don't stop believing in us. I am here coming towards you. And that's the message from your masculine right now. Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. Okay, that's what just came in. That's the song they're giving it me from Glee there. Don't stop believing in us. I am here coming towards you. So your masculine saying, I'm coming towards you. Don't fear I'm coming towards you. I'm coming to reconcile, to talk to you, to get to know you better. I'm coming towards you to give our relationship a chance so we can get to know each other again, so I can free myself. But your masculine is saying to you, I need to free myself first. And that's why the red flags are there because of this spiritual path and journey that we are on. So whatever seems to be in the way, the blocks are being lifted. So don't stop believing your masculine is here with you now and coming towards you. Because remember, separation is illusion. So where your masculine is saying, I'm here, you may not physically see them, but you can feel them. So trust in the way you feel. It's always real. Have a great month sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.